Hello folks, uh, do you ever wonder how these neural network models get trained? Well, I'm going to cover uh, the same in today's video. That is, I'm going to explain the training process of neural networks in detail. That is, how weight associated with each connections of node gets updated or optimized. Talking about weight, optimization will be the major talk in this video. So I will briefly touch uh, loss function um, back and back propagation because these topics will be covered in detail in the later videos. Uh, so weight optimization is one of the um, you know very important topic from the perspective of training a neural network. So watch this video till the end. Okay. Folks, this is Nitin who is on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I am regularly creating the content and publishing it as well on a periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these new uh, or modern technologies. You can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of the 21st century. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at the links given above. And I have also added subtitles in languages like Hindi, English, French for your convenience. So you can enable them as per your needs. So in the previous videos, I explained the uh, simple architecture of artificial neural network, but that was just an architecture. In the real application, we need to develop and train these neural networks on large data sets, be it image or text or time series. Now coming back to neural network model training, during the model training, we try to optimize the weights in the model. So let's revisit our artificial neural network. Uh, so in between uh, these neurons of input layer and hidden layer, there are connections which had you know, some uh, arbitrary weights assigned initially, right? Now, during the training process, these weights are getting updated continuously to reach the optimal weight value, okay? And how the weight uh, will be optimized is totally dependent upon the optimizer, also known as optimization algorithms, okay? And we explicitly choose these optimizers for our models. Some of the optimizers used in neural networks are stochastic, gradient, descent, ADA grad, RMS prop, and ATOM. It's ADAM, A D A M. Okay. Here I'm going to cover stochastic gradient descent, okay, which is um, mostly the, uh, in fact, the more popular one. Please note that, that these uh, the gradient descent in itself is very, uh, you know, big topic. So I will cover that in detail later on. For now, just understand that through uh, stochastic, stochastic gradient descent or SGD, we try to minimize the loss function, keeping in mind the objective to set the model weights, okay? So SGD assigns the weights in such a way that it will make the loss function as close to zero as possible, okay? So here the loss function can be anything uh, like mean absolute error, uh, mean square error, hinge loss, uh, cross entropy, etc. And I will cover the loss function in detail in another video, but here you can just understand that during training process, we provide our neural network model with labeled data. Okay. And if you remember, I gave an example of classifying hand -rigid, uh, handwritten digits in the previous video. So let's consider that example for illustration purpose. Um, in the output layer, we need to have uh, 10 nodes, okay, each depicting a, uh, you know, single digit category from 0 to 9, right? Now, we supply this image data along with associated lab labels to our neural network model, right? Uh, and we, uh, you know, for the simplicity's sake, let's say we provide the image of number 1, hand rigid, handwritten digit number 1. Now, once this image traverses through the entire model, or network of uh, layers, it will return the output in terms of probability that a specific image is number one. Okay, so there, there's going to be a specific probability which came out as output with respect to this number one. Okay, uh, or the image of number one. 
so in this case it may assign a probability of let's say uh, uh, 0.6 to a number 1 okay and rest probability of 0.4 will be divided among other nine nodes showcasing other digits okay so essentially you know it shows that model assigns higher likelihood uh, to the image being number one okay the higher likelihood of how it is depicting by giving a probability of 0.6 okay now here the loss is going to be the error between actual value and predicted value right that is uh, what this neural network model is predicting for the image versus what the actual label of that image was right so what SDG, SGD or stochastic gradient descent does is that it tries to minimize this error in order to make our neural network model as accurate as possible in its predictions. So this way we pass all of our data uh, through the neural network model and more importantly we keep on continuously passing the same uh, data multiple times through the model. Okay. Uh, so when we pass the same data through the model several times the model actually learns and gets trained thereby updating the weights of the model during the course of the entire model training okay one thing to note here is that uh, one pass of entire data through the model is called an epoch okay epoch epoch and when we are passing same data multiple times through the neural network model then it means that we are running multiple epochs of same data okay so basically uh, there is a complete cycle uh, involved and uh, i'm going to explain that in a bit so moving on uh, so once we calculate the error or loss the model will then calculate the gradient or derivative of the loss function with respect to weights that have been set once the gradient is calculated it is then multiplied by learning rate which is essentially a small number ranging between 0 0.0001 and 0 0.01 the value can be decided based on the complexity of a problem and when i'm saying the value the value of learning rate a rate i'm talking about so the value of learning rate can be decided uh, or you know uh, you can choose any value based on the complexity of the problem involved one thing to note here is that when we multiply the learning rate uh, value and gradient descent value then the actual resultant value will become very small now we finally take this resultant value and update the corresponding weights okay the old weights will get replaced by the new weights so whenever the gradient of the loss function is calculated then the value of gradient is going to be different for each weight as the gradient is calculated with respect to each weight value right and with each epoch these weights uh, get updated continuously and get closer to the uh, closer to their optimized value so there is a kind of a circle uh, right if you see that uh, we calculated the loss uh, you know uh, which was a difference between actual and predicted value then we uh, you know calculated on the basis of that loss we calculated the gradient and then we uh, multiplied that gradient with the learning rate and that the the, the resultant value which came out uh, after multiplying the gradient and uh, learning rate it was treated as weight so there is a complete cycle and this uh, you know uh, updating this weight process is you know is sometimes called back propagation so we are kind of uh, you know propagating backwards updating our old uh, weights right and i'm going to explain the uh, back propagation process uh, you know uh, process in the upcoming video so keep on watching uh, but for now just understand uh, this concept of uh, back propagation I will explain it in uh, detail in the later videos okay so folks uh, let me ask you a question from the video I explained today so what is a parameter which has value ranging from 0 0.0001 and 0 0.01 and uh, which gets multiplied by gradient during the training process please post your comments in the comment section given below 
because some of the uh, best tips and feedback come from you only right and if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking on uh, that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you